Uh, we live. Okay. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Israela. This is the brother Bana. This is the brother Nathan. We're here, you know, with the little live, just to, uh, you know, low willing, feed the flock. Low willing, it's uh, comforting, you know, edifying. And, you know, before we begin, we'd like to give all honor, glory, and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, bishops, those who are, you know, pushing this truth and sincerity, teaching us younger brothers, you know, double honors to apostles. And, um, you know, shalom to the to the Akim out there, you know, pushing this word across all four winds, risking their lives, freedom to do so. And, um, you know, shalom to those believers, those that are repenting in the name of Yahweh, Hashem, you know, Shai, those whose uh, spirit bears witness to this truth, you know, those who believe and those that are going to be repenting in these days. Shalom, peace be unto you. Keep pushing. Peace and citations to the hopeful elect, the house of David. That's right. The house of David, the hopeful elect, the one third of Israel. Shalom. Okay. Yeah, 12 tribes, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Haitians, West Indians, Israelite foreigners are scattered abroad. You are the 12 tribes of Israel that the Bible speaks of. That's right. You may seek repentance and salvation in these latter days. That's right. The speckled bird, you know, the Israelite foreigners, you know, this thing like, uh, you know, these them. Um, Heathen, these Edomites, you know, want to push this thing, uh, you know, black Hebrew Israelites and, and give this thing uh, a colored thing, man, to where, you know, this truth isn't about color, man. This is about, you know, this is about the, the spirit, you know, Israel is scattered into all nations, man. So we know this is about the, the truth and, and the spirit that's able to receive and understand and believe this word, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of, that's right. You know, and the, and the lineage that goes back to your father and, and your forefathers and so on and so forth. Yeah. You know, because, uh, you know, our people took on heathen customs and, uh, you know, customs that were not of this truth. And, uh, you know, of course, we have been adulterated. Uh, the word has been adulterated and perverted by the so-called, you know, I mean, these Christian churches, Catholic churches, so on and so forth. So yeah, it was just part of the, the curse, man, you know, to um, to fall into these captivities, fall into the and following the ways of the heathen. But, you know, as prophecy predicted that we'd wake up in the land of our, we would remember ourselves in the land of our captivity. So, you know, in this captivity here and the, the, you know, the virgin daughter of Babylon, uh, America here, you know, this is where Israel, the Israelites have lost our identity, man. We had lost our identity for, you know, um, you know, hundreds of years and we've been woken up, man. You know, to the spirit, the Lord has woken up uh, a remnant of Israel to come back to their heritage, man. So, call That's right. That's right. So, shalom to those that are, you know, pushing for this truth and those that are, you know, ushering in the, the kingdom, man. So, why don't we go ahead and uh, get, get started there with uh, Amos, Obusha. Okay. Yeah, it's the book of Amos, chapter 4. We'll start at verse 10. Amos 4 and 10 reads, I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. So after the manner of Egypt. So I mean, similar, similar to. So this thing is only going to increase, man. All these, um, you know, these hard times, evil times, you know, they're going to increase and increase. You know, we already seen a. Uh, this uh, avian bird flu trying to take off, man. You're seeing, uh, uh, I don't know if you've seen, um, recently there was some protests at uh, a basketball game, Minnesota. I guess Minnesota's team owner owns a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, farms, bird farm, uh, chicken farms and whatnot. Okay. And as this fan was protesting, handcuffing himself to the, to the, um, the goalposts. <laughs> in the middle of the game playoff game and uh saying that this team owner killed uh millions of birds burned them alive bro God. just eat them my freaking uh team owner man mm -hmm. but that's just to show you the wickedness of esau Vita, man he has no mercy no uh no chill at all man mm -hmm. 
kind of that also uh you know ties into this man-made famine that's happening you know they're using this uh you know avian bird flu and things like that to to bring hardship and bring famine bring hunger to the people you know so they're also saying that but also um for what it is you know this uh you know this is also a work of the heavenly father but real quick Baba Gasha, i want to bring up um psalm 78 and 50 which reads he made a way to his anger he spared not their soul from death but gave their life over to the pestilence. So referring to those pestilences that hit Egypt, you know, in, in the, the time yeah. of, of our forefathers coming yeah. out of Egypt. And that's just to show you that that Yahweh is going to make them suffer, man, through these punishments, you know. It'd be too easy just to kill them like that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to make them suffer. And like, uh, you know, mentioned before with, you know, certain people that are full of that wickedness and... Mm -hmm. They're going to have to lose everything and watch everything that they love be taken from them, from the most high. And especially those that are proud and, you know, those that think that just because they haven't uh, ever dealt with affliction that they're never going to. They're going to be the ones that are going to have to watch everything that they, they love, everything that they've built up, the thinking that they you know, giving no regard to the most high, but just exalting themselves with that. Mm -hmm. They're going to watch everything be taken from them, man. And the Lord's going to save them for, you know, all the pestilences and make them suffer through it all, man. God, yeah. What's the scripture say? Uh, roughly paraphrasing, I will use their fear against them. You know, I will bring their fears upon them. Bring their fears upon them. Kind of, kind of. So, yeah, those people are thinking, uh, you know, if I, I don't want to see this happen. I don't want to see that happen. Like, hey, the Heavenly Father... He knows what you fear and he's gonna bring that upon you kind of um, you're, you're going off and you're you know this idolatry you know we just saw it this past weekend with so many of our people going out there celebrating quote unquote easter you know this uh easter pagan holiday yeah know? what is that uh worshiping you know your store your store ishtar mm -hmm. uh semiramis or mm -hmm. what, what's the name yeah yeah so that pagan worship you know that pagan holiday that has nothing to do with the but you know, yeah, it goes back um, to uh, uh, Nimrod worship, you know, mm -hmm. Semiramis, mm -hmm. fertility god, goddess. Yeah, yeah. We'll go back into Amos four and ten. Um, I'm gonna start from the top again. It says, "I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with the sword, and have taken away your ho your horses, and I have made the stink of your camps to come up unto your nostrils." Yeah, yeah, man. And you're seeing the stink of America. You're seeing the stink of a lot of this BS being brought up to everyone's nostrils, man. Everyone can smell Esau of Edom's BS when he's up there preaching, man. Uh, freaking this damn um, sleepy Joe Biden, man. And all these, uh, you know, old crackers that are in charge, man. Everybody doesn't trust them, man. They, they see that they're full of lies, man. But that's part of that stink, man. And, and you know, a lot of uh, the joy of this place is, you know, hard to come by because it's so vexing when you're constantly having to overcome these things just to try to have that state of mind, man. But we're not supposed to be in the house of mirth, man. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Yeah, this place has lost its glamour. Kind of. And that's, uh, you know, as the elders always go kind into, it's, it's a CTD, C. TD circling the drink, kind of, yeah, but you know, you know horses uh, with ancient militaries they always represented a lot of power, man. Mm -hmm. You know, th those are the um, oftentimes, uh, uh, you know, a chariot uh, of war, you know, vessel of war, mm -hmm. you know, to where they would come in, you know, uh, a man would be standing on the back of that horse and carriage, man, with the you know, slaying people, you know, left and right, mm -hmm. and uh, you're seeing that now where America is not that power anymore, man. People could see that these other nations, man, are, you know, Russia and, and these other nations over there are gaining that power, man. They have the, they have the hypersonic missiles. They have uh, jets that fly at, you know, um, seven times the, the sound is, uh, it's lucky, the, the speed of sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, bro, that's part of, uh, you know, America, Babylon, you know, that their horses, you know, mm -hmm. their power, their their weapons of war are, are not, uh, they're not it right now, man. Mm -hmm. God, yeah. So continuing on, Amos 4 and 10, 
the rest of that verse reads, Yet have ye not returned unto me, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. That's right. So they're still proud, man. They still want to trust in this American government, thinking that this land is untouchable, thinking that war can never happen here, that it can never, you know, strike them, that the, the ops can't ever uh, infiltrate this place, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they just want to continue to um, seek the hedge of protection by by men, you know, by mere mortals, as opposed yeah. to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, the true power. And you know? understanding these things that have to play out to us in the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Kind of. And then they don't want to see that, man. Okay. They want to continue in this wickedness, man. They want this sinful kingdom to continue, man. Mm -hmm. It's like if you were to tell them, you know, what's going to, you know, tell them what's going to happen per the scriptures, you know, whatnot. It's like they, they don't want to see that. They don't want to see the kingdom. It's like you, you have a chance, you know, like to put a stop to wickedness, but you want to turn your cheek the other way and let this thing continue because you're getting a little pay on the side, you know, and that's what these people are doing, man. These people that don't want to see the, the end of Babylon, man. Confusion, folly. Yeah, but, it. but even just that that line of, of the you know the horse that reminds me of uh you know of these people with uh you know gas and stuff like that, man. You know, it taking away your horses. So even the, those little pleasures of, of being able to, you know travel and go vacation here and there and do this or that like it's it's much harder now you have to really be submitting to Babylon and be willing to go that extra extra mile man just to partake in that folly mm -hmm. God, but our people don't know any better they're destroyed for a lack of knowledge as the scriptures say Hosea 4 and 6. Uh, going back into uh, Amos 4 and 11 it says I have overthrown some of you as the most high overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and ye were as a firebrand plucked out of the burning. Yet have ye not returned unto me, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's right, man. Mm -hmm. So a firebrand is like, uh, you know, the poker, like something you put in the fire, you know, mm -hmm. you know, that instrument, that tool. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the Lord had, uh, you know, had that mercy on Lot, you know, delivering him out, out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, likewise, we, we have been delivered, you know, uh, out of certain captivities, man, but but still have, uh, you know, have not returned unto the Lord. You know, two thirds of the people are going to be destroyed for doing so. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Kind of. So, you know, they've been delivered, you know, and... and for those who have uh, been able to be given an opportunity to repent, you know, and, and whatnot, they don't, they take that for granted. You know, they're not coming back to the one true power. Yeah, look what they said from the first, uh, you know, Exodus, man. The first Exodus out of, out of uh, Egypt, man. Mm -hmm. okay. That's why only the, the children and Caleb and, uh, you know, and Joshua were able to to go into the, the promised land, man. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, the rest had to die in the wilderness because of, you know, them turning uh, away from the Lord, turning back, man. Yeah, there were many of our people that perished. And, uh, yeah, again, they were stiff-necked, hard-headed. And, uh, you know, ultimately, yeah, man, it's, it's their, uh, you know, it's their own demise. You know, thinking that they uh, were more comfortable. You know, they had the uh, the, the resources and they, they lived, uh, you know, a life that was comfortable for them. Just like nowadays, you know, yeah. here, here in modern-day Babylon. They got Israel comfortable with the scraps man mm -hmm. you yeah. know two-thirds of our people are, are comfortable living in the you know in the shadows man living right there at the bottom man just feeding up the scraps and then you got that little small little portion that you know wants to be uh you know esau's lapdog man mm -hmm. uh, this is amos chapter 4 and verse 12 and it says, therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy power, O Israel. For lo, yeah, he's saying, you want that smoke? You, shit, I'm going I'm to bring it to you. It's going to get there pronto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, verse 13. For lo, he that cometh, oh, uh, so like him. 
For lo, he that formeth the mountains and createth the wind and declareth unto man what is his thought that maketh the morning darkness and treadeth upon the high places of the earth. Lord, Yahweh the power of hosts, the power of armies is his name. That's the most high. He's, he's giving that warning, man. He's flexing on like, yo, this is what I do. I form everything. I create it all. You're nothing for me to destroy. You think you got power? I'm the almighty power. I'm the Lord. The power, the God of armies. The power of armies is his name, man. That's right. So we're going to flip over to the same, uh, same book. Next chapter This is Amos 5. We'll start at verse 8. Amos 5 and 8 reads, Seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion and turneth the shadow of death into the morning and maketh the day dark with night. So Orion being a constellation of stars. Okay. This is that calleth. That calleth for the waters of the sea and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. That's right. And how does he do that with, you know, so-called uh, hurricanes, tsunamis, you know, different natural disasters and things like that. Mm -hmm. That's right. Says, the Lord, Yahweh, Shimei, Shai is his name. Verse 9, that strengtheneth the spoiled against the strong, so that the spoiled shall come against the fortress. All right. So, okay. So our people, Israel, we have been made a spoil. But in the in the days to come, I don't want to desire would be of that number. To make Esau of Edom, so-called white man, and all the other heathen nation people, and those who afflict and oppress our people, we're going to make them spoil. That's right. It says, uh, well, "We are weak, but we are made strong." Mm -hmm. You know, right. so the you know the spoiled, those who have been you know raped, robbed, and pillaged, uh, you know Israel, starting with the elect, mm -hmm. they're going to be the ones that come up and rise up against this devil, man. Mm -hmm. You know, slap them chains and fetters on a man of iron. Right. But that come up against the fortress. You know, a fortress is a stronghold, man. It's a, it's a, you know, a fortified city. So all the strongholds of Esau of Edom are going to be taken out when the fishers turn into hunters, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. No longer going to be, you know, prophesying against this king. Um, the Lord is going to uh, use, you know, spiritual power give spiritual power into his elect to you know to turn into those hunters man that's right so going back into amos 5 and 10 it says they hate him that rebuketh in the gates they abhor him that speaketh uprightly that's right so this word is an offense they hate this word man you know these people hate it they, they don't want that rebuke man they don't want that correction. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, abhor, you know, what What did we go into with that abhor again? Uh, despise, uh, I believe. Despise, right? Yeah, kind of, kind of, I believe that goes into despise. Yeah, to loathe. Yeah, man, so detest. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, uh, they don't want to hear it, man. You know, those that are preaching the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, those that are, are speaking this truth, man, they 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 hate it, man. Mm -hmm. They hate that correction, and and you know they're gonna try to um, you know come at you, you know, try to to demean you, try to break you down, man. But we know that you know for the word for the name of Yahweh Shai, we're gonna be hated amongst all men. So take that cheerfully, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. And the prophets of old. You know, they've been uh, despised for for uh, speaking the truth. Not only have they the been despised, they were killed, man. You know, they're killed by our own people, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. So we have to be willing to do the work and continue to prophesy and speak the truth. All right. Can't speak smooth things unto our people. That's right. You know, and to cry aloud, spare not, pursuant to Isaiah 58 and 1. Okay. Uh, going back into... Uh, Amos 5 and 11 say, For as much, therefore, as your treading is upon the poor, and ye take from him burdens of wheat, ye have built houses of hewn stone, 
but ye shall not dwell in them. Ye have planted pleasant vineyards, but ye shall not drink wine of them. That's right. So we're going to be, you know, put into captivity, put into, you know, pursuant to the curses also of Deuteronomy chapter 28. You know, this this speaks on that, you know, directly. And, and well, uh, this is, yeah, this is speaking to uh, Esau of Edom, huh? you know, treading down the poor, mm -hmm. you know, taking you know everything that we uh labor for you know the workforce mm -hmm. you know you got jacob in the fields man jake's doing all the, the labor out here man you know but esau beat him he, he's in control of it man he controls where it goes the price of it you know how much jake gets in, in his little area you know he, he gets uh only that small little portion that's uh um that's not a proper balance neither man what does it say? Uh, yeah. What does the Lord say? Um, you know, uh, about uh, false balance is an abomination into the Most High. Mm -hmm. God, that's right. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's right, man. And uh, the scriptures also speak of equity and, uh, you know, the lack thereof, man, for our people, you know. Yeah, man. But, but yeah, man. Uh, go ahead and continue. Okay, and this is Amos 5 and 12. Oh, oh uh, go ahead with that second half of 11 again. Okay, I'm going to go back to Amos 5 and 11. Back end of that verse reads, ye have planted pleasant vineyards, but ye shall not drink wine of them. Come on, come on. So yeah, man, that's, you know, Jake. Jake's building houses of, of cut stones, you know, mm -hmm. for these damn Edomites. You always see when you go to these uh, rich neighborhoods, man, you see Jake, man. You see uh, so, uh, Northern Kingdom Jake, man, most of the time building up these houses, man. And so you know they never ever live in a damn house like that, man. But they, you got a whole crew of of, of Northern uh, Kingdom Jake, man, building these houses, mm -hmm. you know. And that's just part of uh, you know part of that curse, man. Uh, and that's you know? just that's just because we're here on the West Coast, but, you know, but, here in Cali. Yeah. So you know, we over across, you know, it's it's always Jake, you know, it's always Jake, yeah. Northern Southern Kingdom, you know, it's always it's always Jake. our people putting in the work. But yeah, man, building these houses that they shall not dwell in them, man. Mm -hmm. You have planted pleasant vineyards, but you shall not drink wine of them, man. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's right. That's why you got Jake that'll be working up in a hotel that they can never afford to stay in, you know, whether it be uh, working the damn front counter, bellboy, or, or uh, you know, working the, his maids and whatnot, you know? Yeah. Or, or you know whatever jobs it is man yeah and that's part of uh you know a lot of these cities gentr gentrification they keep a small uh area of low income housing a very small small amount that's all that's already designed and, and dedicated to just keeping that low uh, minimum wage uh, workforce there jake mm -hmm. and that's all they 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 kick out the rest of jake though they buy the, the old properties out, man, they, they you know, they get uh, all these uh, owners to, you know, to sell out. And that way they can kick it, Jake all the way out, man. Huh. Yeah, I was just reading into some articles last night. Actually, that's the spirit. You know, you get these uh, corporations and these companies like BlackRock and other companies like that that manage and oversee, you know, trillions and trillions of dollars worth of, uh, you know, funds for all these you know, elite owned, you know, major corporations. And basically what they do is like Doc said, gentrification, you know, they go in and they buy out all of these properties, you know, and all these areas, you know, basically to move Jake out and to bring in these people and, and psh, raise it up, man, raise it up and, and to keep us out, you know, yeah, to lock man. our people out. Yeah, yeah. You got a lot yeah. of Jake that shit, man, they, they come back to somewhere that they grew up in and they can't even recognize it no more, man. Huh. And they had to leave because they, they couldn't afford to live there, man. Huh? Huh. Because there was no opportunities for Jake there, man. Huh. And they'll do so. And they'll maintain all these empty buildings just to make sure. You know what I mean? They, they'll raise the rent up so high. And they'll do all these things to just to lock up, lock the tribes out. Just to make sure that, that uh, you know, they make it to, they tailor it to their liking, you know. Yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, man, so... For those who haven't quite uh, done the research on BlackRock, yeah, you definitely should look into that uh, but, uh, wickedness. It's all right, man. We know the whole earth is going to be given back unto us, man. So, uh, that's right. You know, 
That's right. Yeah, so going back into Amos 5 and 13, it says, therefore, oh, actually, no, Salakia, Salakia, I'm at verse 12. Amos 5 and 12. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins. They afflict the just. They take a bribe and they turn aside the poor in the gate from their right. That's right, man. So we got two thirds of our people, man, that will take the bribe from Esau. They'll take the bag. They'll sell out to it, man. And, and they'll turn aside that righteous judgment just to have a little piece of uh, comfort for themselves. But we know that that's going to get ripped up from them and the Lord is going to destroy them, man. So really, they're, they're selling out for nothing, man, because they should really be trying to buy this truth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, selling everything they have to buy the truth in order to, to pray for that salvation, man, to make repentance for salvation. That way they... And, and you know, Lord willing, their their family, their children could have a chance, man. Mm -hmm. But uh, they'd rather sell out to this devil, man. Mm -hmm. it, our people are destroyed, like you said, for the lack of knowledge, man. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to shalom to the brothers and sisters. Shalom. That's right. Then we're going back into uh, Amos, and uh, let's go back to five and twelve. It says, therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. An evil time, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Evil time. And so, that's what we're seeing more so in these latter days as well. You know, and when you go into that, it says bad times, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be an unpleasant time, you know, Jacob's trouble. But these things have to come to pass, man. These things are, are written a four time to, to give us hope, man to you know give us motivation because we know the more and more we see this MOTB being pushed and normalized and these famines coming this war this third world it, it encourages the brother it, it motivates the brothers because we like hey the halabashim yahalashaya spirit man is heavy on this place judgment is here man and we know that we just gotta hang on and keep pushing man keep uh prophesying against this wicked kingdom man bringing this down man building mm -hmm. up the tabernacle of david god that's right and that's a blessing man it's, it's a true blessing to see the brothers on fire like they are and the ministry is absolutely on fire and all starting with the elder apostles on down the great millstone all the like-minded akim who are out there doing videos holding camps day in and day out and you can't even keep up with the watch later list you know god. it's just it, yeah. it's just on, on fire, fire bro and and it's a be it's a beautiful thing because you know that famine of the word once it comes once they completely shut things down you know they're continuing to you know censor videos pull channels things like that they're really pushing for the the censorship of a lot of things man yeah like the brothers always mentioned you know it's going to be like the book of eli you're going to have to have this word in you you know god. they they can try to take the bibles man uh you know outlaw the bible and whatnot you already i seen a video today you had some damn edomite out there uh like petitioning asking people interviewing people here in cali about uh you know signing to outlaw the bible that okay. it, it speaks hate that's yeah. what it, that's what he was trying to say man yeah trying these to get damn it. devils are, are you know they don't want to hear about their judgment man mm -hmm. kind of that's right so uh, let's see, let's go back into Amos 5 and 14. It says, seek good and not evil that ye may live. And so the Lord, Yahweh Shimei HaShai, the power of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. That's so with this, hate the good, you know? Seek, I mean, right, I mean Slack, you hate the evil, Slack. Like, it's like, it, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 we got to seek the good, hate the evil. What's good? Yahweh Shimei HaShai, all right? This word, this truth, seeking the Holy Spirit. You know, seeking like-minded akim, seeking wise counsel, all right? Seeking those things, man, because the things of the world, in particular, Esau of Edom and the wickedness of this, you know, this Babylon and, and all the other, you know, places, man, on this earth, man, all right? Everything is defiled. So that's why we got to continue to push for this in these latter days. Uh, continuing on. And this, you know, think about it. This is the Holy Bible, man. The Holy Scriptures, meaning separate. To mm -hmm. separate us from this wickedness out here, man. Mm -hmm. The wicked ways of the heathen, man. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Yeah. Right. You want me to get to that? Nah, you know that real quick. I'm you got something? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pull out something real quick. Actually, no, no. We'll get that. It's lucky, man. So, yeah, this is going back into Amos 5 and 
15 says, hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. And how do we establish judgment? We do it according to the commandments of Yahweh Bashem man. Mm -hmm. And right. we establish that judgment and tell our people of their transgressions mm -hmm. to warn them and tell them to repent. You mm -hmm. know, the kingdom draweth nigh, man. We see these uh, uh, these end of days prophecies right in our face, man. Mm -hmm. So you, you're crazy not to listen to the prophets out there on the highways and byways giving you warning, man. Mm -hmm. God, all these things that have come to pass and the, and the things that are soon, you know, they're on the brink. Let they're say uh, right there. The fruition is is being manifested by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, that grain of rice, you know, that Frito-Lay chip, you know, it's right there, you know. What does the scripture say? Uh, what's that one? Hear him that hear me, hear thee, that he might save his soul or something like that. Oh, I think it might be uh, First Timothy, like First Timothy four. On the, uh, it's a lot here yeah, I'm butchering that. Yeah, kind of, but yeah, speaking on that, yeah, you know. So it's. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. This is uh First Timothy four and sixteen. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself. And them that hear thee. That's right. That's so right. save thyself. So every man must, uh, you know, work out his own salvation with fear and trembling. And to be a mouthpiece of Yahweh Shem yeah, the, the, the prophets are out there through the spirit, man. And, and you know, for for you to uh, hear this, for mm -hmm. Israel to hear the word of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, man. Being the, the prophets, being the mouthpiece of the, the Most High. That's right. That's right. So, you know, things that pertain to salvation are invaluable. You know, it's not like, you know, like these other cats that are out there. If you were to tell them how they could get rich off Bitcoin, you know, and do a, a what is it? A mining, you know what I mean? Things like that. You know what I mean? If you were to tell them, oh, oh yeah, you get a lot of people gathering around you. You know, if you had LeBron James, freaking Michael Jordan out there yeah, telling yeah. everyone how they can get rich quick. You know, kind of, kind of. you know, a lot of people out there. You got videos with all millions of views. It's, it's like some following, like, oh, uh, this video on how to get more Instagram followers or this or that, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, or, or even just on nonsense challenges. Oh, watch me eat the world's biggest freaking pizza pocket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Like, you know, that, that's just ridiculous. You know, so yeah, that's what our people are into, though, man. You know, people are simple, man. They're, they're destroyed, man. You know, let's say how long. We simple ones love simplicity, kind of, you know. So our people are confounded, you know. But anyways, I'm gonna go back into kind of, what is the scripture also said? The simple are, are punished for their simplicity, kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah. The simple will go along and are punished. Go on and punish. yeah, I'm roughly paraphrasing that. Uh, <clears throat> so back in uh, but the prudent foreseeth the evil and hideth themselves and hideth themselves. Yeah, and that's why we, we search up the wicked devices of Esau of Edom, man. Mm -hmm. Staying prudent in the studies, watching out for these new the news, you know, alternative news sources and whatnot, man. Mm -hmm. We got to know what this uh, devil has, you know, planned. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. They have the, the snares and nets that he's laying out for our people, man, in order to give our people warnings. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, the blood is off of our hands once we uh, we give our people the warning, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this is Amos 5, 15, same verse. The back half of that verse reads, It may be that the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, power of armies, the power of hosts, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. The remnant of Joseph. Mm -hmm. So that elect of Israel, man. That's right. So, so we're in that period of grace right now. And we're seeking to, you know, abide by the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. And to flip that investment, you know, that the Heavenly Father, while the Holy Spirit, okay, the only begotten Son, through the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, for the point being that penny, you know, and that investment, man. You know, we're trying to invest, you know, we're trying to, I mean, it's like we're trying to flip that investment. We're trying to increase for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, trying to bring forth ripe fruit, trying to feed the flock, we're trying to, you know, do everything and, and absolutely yeah, anything to show ourselves a proof. Yeah, yeah. Can, carrying that candle to the top of the mountain, man, for everybody to see. You know, you're not going to hide that flame under the bushel. Mm -hmm. Kind of, that's right. So, you know, we're trying to be of that remnant a portion, all right? That's right, man. You're going to take the most high, or how about you, you know, talents, and put them in your pocket, man. Mm -hmm. you know, put of. it in a napkin. That's right. You know, it's a slothful servant, as the scriptures say. Kind of. 
uh, going back in Isaiah, uh, it's like at Amos 5 and 16. Therefore, the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, the power of hosts, the Lord say, saith thus, wailing shall be in all streets, and they shall say in all the highways, alas, alas, and they shall call the husbandmen to mourning, and such as are skillful of lamentation to wailing, and in all vineyards shall be wailing, for I will pass through thee, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushak. And what he's passing through for the harvest, man. He's gonna harvest and you know, he's gonna he's gonna pull up the, those elect, man. And then he's gonna uh, you know, he's gonna burn up the rest, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. So in that day, man, you know, they're gonna be wishing that they had come back, you know, but the gates of mercy, you know, through the spirit, you know, and through the through the teachings of, of the elder apostles on down, okay. Like my Akium through the spirit, you know, we feel that those gates of mercies are, are man, the gates of mercy are closing, you know. If the elect is not already sealed, you know, it's, it's very close to that time. So, you know, we definitely got to continue to uh, repent, you know, because ultimately, yeah, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be much wailing. It's going to be a uh, gnashing of teeth, you know, as the scriptures say. So the Heavenly Father is going to pass through and, and uh, plague the, you know, plague the lands, plague our, plague our people, two thirds of our people, as he did in, the, you know, in Egypt. So going back into Amos 5 and 18, it says, Woe, destruction unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, is darkness and not light. That's right. So it's the Heavenly Father going to come and bring destruction on this place, all right? And he's going to start by sending his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to lay down destruction onto this place with the holy chariots, okay, with the armies of the angels, the holy angels, all right? Yeah, and that, that one we're also going into in the Strongs on, on this, uh, this one goes into um, a last. So, yeah, man. So, at last, the day of the Lord, man. And for the hopefully elect, man, we're, we're, we're seeking that day. Mm -hmm. But, but for, for those that, you know, maybe, uh, you know, seeking the Lord, but, but, you know, not according to knowledge, you know, those that are, are just thinking that it's going to be all, all, all peace and, and love, man, they're, they're sorely mistaken, mm -hmm. you know, especially if they don't have the faith and don't have the works that are continuing to go off in idolatry. Mm -hmm. God. That's right. Amos 5 and 19. Yeah. The day of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai is darkness and not light, man. Mm -hmm. Because you're gonna, you're gonna have, you know, these uh, chariots, man, covering the damn sky, man. That's how, that's how, uh, you know, heavy it's gonna be, man. You're gonna have these chariots that are gonna be blocking even the light from coming down onto the earth, man. And that's how big these chariots are, man. Yeah, that fathership, and mm -hmm. uh, even the, these, uh, you know, these that thermonuclear destruction, man. That fallout, it's gonna be heavy. Man, yeah. the clouds are gonna be. You know, with smoke and darkness, man. And, what does it say that every eye shall see him, mm -hmm. you know, and them that pierced him? So mm -hmm. in order for them to see him, they're, mm -hmm. they're going to have to see mm -hmm. these giant, uh, you know, ships up there, man. Mm -hmm. Kind of, they depict that, you know, in like an Independence Day and films like that, you know. Yeah. They can cover up the whole damn sky, man. You can't see a damn thing. Everything mm -hmm. but that father ship, you know. Now going back into Amos 5 and 19. It says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. That's right, man. So they might escape one plague or another plague, but eventually the Lord's going to, he's going to have a certain little judgment just waiting for them, man. So that they could try to outrun judgment as, as much as they can, but it's going to, it's going to be waiting for you, man. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, what is that movie? Uh, uh, Death Day or some shit like that? Oh, Happy Death Day Happy or something, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of pretty much. Or, there's <laughs> another one where the dude's like constantly uh, waiting for a damn piano to fall on his head or something. Or is that like a saying or something? I don't know. I think there was like a story of this dude that had a dream or something like that. Um, of, that he was going to die on, on a certain day or like his birthday or something. And that day he was like waiting for a damn 
piano to like fall on him or something, fall from a, a roof. But I forget how it is lucky. I forget how the story uh, ends up finishing up. Yeah, ultimately know what to hide but, from your but, Hey, that's through the spirit because that's that little story there. It, I forget it's been years and years since I heard that story, but uh, that's through the spirit that they're trying to avoid judgment, man. Mm-hmm. Fleeing the lion, the bear, going into the house thinking, oh, uh, you know, I'm in my my safe zone right now. Mm-hmm. This is my comfort zone. Boom, lean up on the, the wall for rest. Boom, snake gets you, man. The serpent. Mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, that's part of the serpent being a uh, uh, sim- symbol of uh, of a deceiver, you know, mm-hmm. deception. That's you know something that's uh, very slick, you know. Mm-hmm. It's very subtle. It hides, you know, kind of, and it's quick. Yeah, that's right. You know, actually through the spirit, it's funny though. That reminds me of this uh, this old film. Well, remember the old movies? Yeah, I don't know if it, anybody's seen those old films called a uh, creep show. These old, like, basically horror films, like, you know, like short, somewhat short films. But long story short, there's just one in particular where there's uh, basically, like, a, a liquid, almost like a blob-type monster inside the water of a lake. And it goes around, and it basically devours up whatever it can touch. And, like, for, for different people, like, I think it knocks off, like, a group of teenagers, you know what I mean? And there's, like, four or five, whatever of them. And uh, basically, it gets on you and freaking eats you up. It takes you into the water, and blah, blah, blah. That's the end, right? And, yeah. and towards the end of it, though, the very last person swam, swam, swam his ass off, right? Look, I think it was like some Edomite-looking guy in the film, right? Makes it outside of the lake, right? And then he's like, I beat you. Ah, I beat you. Ah. And then all of a sudden, the freaking blob thing just jumps out of the water and freaking onto the little shore where this guy's at. Just freaking, like, oh yeah, I'm not just in the water, man. Like I'm gonna jump out of the water and yeah, get yeah. your ass. It almost sounded like that uh, <laughs> venom. You know, you know? That, yeah, that's what it looked like. Yeah, microorganism. Uh, kind, kind. It looked like venom. But the funny thing too, uh, through the spirit, is kind of spiritual. Where it's just like, okay, and there was a sign at the very end of it. There was a sign on, like right outside the lake shoreline, right there. It said, oh. Do not go in the water, blah, blah, blah. You know, and they give them a warning. Yeah. So, yeah, that's like the prophets, you know, out there right now speaking this word in truth and sincerity, okay, risking their lives and freedoms to do so, speaking, you know, the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, trying to warn our people, you know, this is again invaluable. It pertains to salvation, okay? Someone to tell you, hey, man, you know, you, you need to you need to get right with this thing because uh, you know someone to tell you oh yeah by the way uh, there's a bank robber in there you might you might not want to go into that bank you know uh, oh yeah there's uh, you know sulfuric acid that just got spilled all over the floor you might want to be careful right there you know it's like man people our people like I said destroyed for a lack of knowledge man <laughs> stubborn man stubborn but anyways it's lock you just gonna go back into uh, Amos five and gonna go into verse seventeen. Says that, uh, and in all vineyards shall be uh, wailing. No, no, we were at um. Oh, Slakia. Yeah, no, no, right. Oh yeah, man, yeah. Slakia. I'm way. Man, yeah, Slakia. Right, Amos five and twenty one. I hate. I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Okay, so actually, yeah. So the feast days. All right. So we're not even. Our people are going off by you know this idol worship. You know they think that they're. You know the, the the Easter Sunday, you know things like that, quote unquote. They think that that has something to do with the Messiah. You know, yeah, they uh, they're it, celebrating all these things. You know, certain pagan uh, holidays. You know, Christmas, this, that, Easter. You know, things that have uh, zero, uh, you know, biblical, uh, you know, connections, man. Things that are, are go back to pagan idolatry, man. You know, worshiping Tammuz. Mm-hmm. You know, and that Nimrod worship, you know, when it comes to the Christmas tree, man. So these people are having these things, you know, these people under that plantation Christianity thinking that they're doing something to offer up to, to the Lord, man, you know. But really, they, the Lord's despising that feast, man. He, he hates it. He hates that you're, you're, you're going off, man. You're worshiping these damn heathen uh, idols man mm-hmm. and, yeah. and the fact that you you don't think twice about it man mm-hmm. kind of and even for those who are like even first... even for those they hear it they've heard people tell them hey 
like everybody has heard it one way or another that those things are pagan. They're mm -hmm. not truly, um, according to, you know, the most high, they're not, you know, it's not really uh, Jesus's birthday and this and that, but yet they still want to, uh, you know, just disregard that and just continue to do what they're they're used to doing, man. Continuing and not falling, man. They yeah. don't want to. They don't want to learn. They don't want to know better, man. God, God. Yeah, they don't want to learn. They don't want to study for themselves. They don't want to do their own research. They just want to be spoon fed that plantation Christianity and Catholicism and things like that. They just want to continue hey, to because a lot of them that they just look at it. Hey, it's a good time, man. They they've been doing it for so long. They don't want to change from that. You know. Basically, that's an opportunity to. They've been doing it since they was a kid, and you know that's it. But they don't want to put off the old man and put on the new. Mm -hmm. Kind of, yeah. They don't want to see anything change. You know, they just want to let their kids run around so they could drink some, you know, drink some brew and smoke some dope and do this and that. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's just. But anyways, it's why it's why the Lord said to, to be as as little children, man, because you got to uh, erase everything that you knew and start fresh man relearn everything okay mm -hmm. so going back into amos 5 and 21 says i hate i despise your feast days and i will not smell in your solemn assemblies so kind of to tie into that you know those who even are uh you know know the truth of y'all by shy but not you know they don't maybe teach it or or uh, accept the 100 percent truth of it as we do uh, learning under great millstone and all the like-minded brothers you know like for instance the solemn assemblies you know, in the last Pesach that just passed, you know, um, last month, you know, we had brothers, you know, different camps that were going off when they were holding it, you know, and uh, it just goes to show that, again, you know, the Heavenly Father is not going to be with, uh, with with all those who are claiming to hold solemn assemblies in the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. But now I want to go into uh, the Strong's definition for aim, uh, the word smell. It says, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. So this is the Strong's uh let's call strong's hebrew strong's h at 7306 Ruach. 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 okay and that goes into to perceive uh to perceive or to accept or uh it says also says of delight so the heavenly father is not going to accept he's not going to have delight in these you know, these so-called, you know, these, these feast days and, and uh, you know, these solemn assemblies, quote unquote, if it's not, you know, done done in the name of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, but in sincerity and in truth, if it's not done correctly, you know? So um, Amos 5 and 22, though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. That's right. So in the days of animal sacrifice and things like that, you know, we made those sacrifices and ultimately they were done away with, you know, with the coming of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Those were, that was basically the only part of the law, Levitical law, you know, and things like that that were given to our yeah. people. That was the only part that was done away with. Because the ultimate sacrifice now is uh, our own, you know, of ourselves, man, mm -hmm. you know, to make ourselves a sacrifice unto the Lord, God. you know, and that's by trying to purify ourselves, you know, making ourselves a, an acceptable sacrifice unto Yahweh mm -hmm. and um, yeah, just to get into that, uh, back to this uh, book of Isaiah, uh, one and I'll start at verse 11 reads, to what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, said the Lord. And says, I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts. And I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats. When ye come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand to tread my courts? Bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and Sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hated. 
they are trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. Mm -hmm. so that's yeah, and it says, and when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yeah, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Mm -hmm. That's right. So blood, you know, from that, from that guilt, you know, from those those transgressions and those sins against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, our people, you know, is going to get to a point, you know, where the Heavenly Father is just not going to not going to have it no more. You know. So you can you can't continue to apologize for repeating the same mistakes mm -hmm. by continuing to be wicked and thinking that you can just make an offering and, and mm -hmm. say sorry and uh, be wiped clean mm -hmm. okay. without really meaning it, man. You know, continuing to do the same thing that you were before, man. Mm -hmm. that's uh, right. Yeah, that's why uh, Isaiah one and sixteen reads, "Wash ye." make you clean put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes cease to do evil learn to do well seek judgment relieve the oppressed judge the fatherless plead for the widow mm -hmm. that's right so learn to do well seek judgment all right so we have to you know relieve the oppressed how can we do that okay through the spirit of yahweh by teaching and preaching this word you know by by uh, you know rehearsing the righteous acts, you know those that those things that that pertain to salvation, you know by being a uh, you know by be, by being charitable, you know so on and so forth, you know to those who are who are in need of the word, you know. What is that? So, what does the scripture say and, again? That uh, uh, make and, offerings meet for repentance. Huh. Yeah, roughly paraphrasing. Uh, or bring, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is um, Matthew 3 and 8 reads, bring forth, therefore, fruits meet for repentance. Mm -hmm. That's it. Kind of. yeah, man. So that's the that, those are the type of uh, offerings the, the Lord he wants, man. He wants uh, somebody to repent, man. Someone sincere that's uh, purifying themselves in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Yeah, you know right ripe fruit meat for repentance that he's not gonna have to uh cut off man and burn up uh, yeah like it says uh verse 16 right here isaiah 116 says wash you make you clean right so pursuant to was it psalm 119 says how will, how will a man uh cleanse his ways by taking heed to the word roughly paraphrasing that you uh, know yeah, since i'm quoting it might as well bring it out real quick Yes, this is Psalm 119 and 9. It says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? That's right. Okay. I'm cleansing our ways, man. All right. Taking heed to the word by being obedient to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. What does it say? Uh, Obedience is better than sacrifice, roughly paraphrasing. Kind of, exactly. You know? You know? Uh, it also says, you know, that the, um, the commandments, uh, you know, the laws weren't written for the, you know, roughly paraphrasing for for the righteous or something like that, right? Yeah, roughly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So more or less, uh, you can roughly paraphrase that, but well, it's for the wicked or for those who are sick. Kind of like basically for those who are going off, you know? Yeah. They're meant to, for correction, you know, to keep our people. You know what I mean? Um, more or less, you know, obedient, man. To, for rebukement and correction, you know, to put wickedness out of Israel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so real quick, I'm going to read Amos 5 and 23. It says, Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials. Okay. Uh, yeah. Roughly paraphrasing, but yeah, uh, Salak, yeah. It was uh, 1 Timothy 1 and 9. It says, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's, man. It. that's it. That's right, man. But like you were saying, you know, in order to, uh, you know, keep that iniquity out of uh, Israel, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Nah. So, you know, 
Like it says right here, y'all, take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials, right? So the Heavenly Father, again, you know, he's not going to be with us, you know, with the wicked, you know, transgressors, you know, got to a point where the Heavenly Father is not going to take pleasure in the, you know, solemn assemblies or or even, you know, to those who are singing psalms to Yahweh, you know, yeah, he's not going to the... hear the prayers of the wicked. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And uh, Amos 5 and 24 but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. Yeah, man, and we're, we're seeing that heavy now, man. We're seeing Yahweh Hashem Yahushai come down with that heavy judgment, man. And he's having no regard for who it is, man. You know, he, he's letting that judgment come down and, and uh, you know, more frequent basis, man. You're, you're seeing uh, the spirit of of death and spirits of vengeance everywhere right now and that's why we have to cover ourselves in the strong tower of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and through the faith man mm -hmm. and you know backing it up by our works man you know by staying obedient you know and righteousness as a mighty stream and that that mighty stream is the hopeful elect man yeah that's right so we have to establish, you know, judgment, not do away with it. You know, so many people are uh, doing that, you know, like, oh, we're not going to judge. Oh, we're free, oh, free of judgment. You know, things like that. It's like, no, the Heavenly Father delights in that. Yeah, he orders to establish judgment at the gate, man. You know, show Israel uh, their transgressions, but mm -hmm. in order to uh, get them to repent, you know, in order to receive salvation, man. That's a loving thing. I'm going to jump over to um, Ezekiel 8, beginning at verse 12 here. It reads, uh, Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chambers of his imagery, for they say, The Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, seeth us not. The Lord has forsaken the earth. And yeah, that's going off, man. You know, you had a lot of uh, Israel in, in, in those times, you know, when Ezekiel was showing that, that vision, man, um, seeing that they were going off, man, thinking that they can do these things in the dark, man, worshiping false idols and that the Lord didn't see. But the, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. His eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. So he's got his angels sending up the reports, man. He's got his eyes everywhere, man. Chariots all, all over, man. The, you know, he is the omni uh, potent one, man. He, he sees everything, man. He is everywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so here you go. Ahead. And real quick to back that up, in the next chapter, this is Jerem, uh, Ezekiel, so like uh, Ezekiel 9 and 9 says, Then he said unto me, there, then said he unto me, the iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah. Is exceeding great and the land is full of blood and the city full of perverseness for they say the lord yahweh Yahushai, hath forsaken the earth and the lord yahweh Yahushai, seeth not that's right mm -hmm. that's right so and only a fool would think that the eyes of the lord aren't everywhere and that the lord doesn't know all man mm -hmm. you know what is it saying, uh, Ezra, that it's he that sitteth above the, the circle, you know, and look it down, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he, he sits up and, and, you know, this is uh, ultimately this is his his movie, man. He knows all the scenes, man. Mm -hmm. He knows everything. He wrote it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, you know, man's going or, or of the Lord. Okay. You know, so you think the Heavenly Father doesn't know where you're stepping, know where you're going, know your thoughts, know your heart. Okay, so the Lord He's uh, seeking the the what does it say real quick purpose and He seek at the inward parts, you know. Yeah, man. So so the Heavenly Father, man, he, he, everything is pre written. You know what I mean? It's predestined, man, and, and uh, everything. The Lord's movie, man. You think the Lord don't know anything that you're about to do that you have done? And it's, the Lord wrote the script, all right? He knew you since you were in the womb. Okay, so Lucky, like, yeah, that was actually uh, what I was paraphrasing is Isaiah 40 and 22. It says, it, it is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth 
and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. Inhabitants, that's right. So the people, okay? Mm -hmm. Everyone under the eyes of the Most High. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to continue here with uh, Ezekiel 8 and 13 reads, He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was towards the north. And, and behold, there sat woman weeping for Tammuz. And Tammuz going back to, uh, you know, going back to that, um, that idolatry worship going into uh, Nimrod, right? Mm -hmm. Going into Isis, Ishtar, and, um, and her husband. That's right. Yeah. So that those fertility gods, you know, things like that, you know, of course, above, you know, amongst other um, idols, you know, and uh, false, false gods and things like that, you know, false idols, you know, our people still to this very day continue to partake in that false idol worship. Kind of that goes back to yeah, Mesopotamia, uh, you know, going back into uh, the early days. But yeah, um, they say that uh, Tammuz was actually um Nimrod and and they pretty much created um Jesus in, in the image of of Tammuz. That's why they have uh Christmas uh, that worships, you know, um what is it, the winter solstice and and those types of things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man. Okay. And that's what this is, you know, the set uh, that would just pass that quote unquote Easter holiday, you know, with the spring equinox. Mm -hmm. There it is, you know. So yeah, man, you know, our people, yeah, they, yeah, they got no idea what they're doing and they don't want to know, you know. But yeah, man, there, there was a saying that they pretty much would have to, the women would have to weep for Tammuz or they would get killed, man. And they'd have to be, you know, uh, I believe it was like for seven days too. But yeah, man, they had to um, be, you know, weeping and wailing out in the streets, you know making a whole spectacle of it yeah and if they didn't man they they'd get killed and it reads um this is um ezekiel 8 and 15 then said he unto me hast thou seen this o son of man turn thee yet again and thou shalt see greater abominations than these so yeah man they, israel has been going off man our, you know two-thirds of our people are just uh you know, back in their lots, man, through the reincarnation and they're continuing to go off in that idolatry, man. You know, continuing to not turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. Still scoffing and mocking and, and hating the, the prophets, hating the, the hopeful elect. You know, so we, we think we take this as a cheerful thing when they when they hate us for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, for doing right. By, by walking, seeking to walk uprightly, you know, by forsaking the ways of this world, man, forsaking the way of the heathen. What does this uh, Lord say? Make no covenant with the heathen. So that's what we're doing, man. And of course, the, these people out here that are lacking any type of understanding or judgment, they're, they're going to look at you sideways. So, hey, you know, if it's our own family, our own loved ones, you know, if they're of Israel, man, we're going to We'll see them on the other side, man. Kind, kind. You know, just uh, another similar scripture, but uh, I'll go into it real quick. This is uh, Jeremiah 10 and 1. It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. All right, so you know we seek all those things of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. We we hasten the, the return of the Messiah, you know Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay. But uh, the point and, being, they're not the way of the heathen, and we're not dismayed at them because we have the understanding. Mm -hmm. We we know what these things are. We know the prophecies. We know why these things have happened. We know why we're in a low state. We know why we're in captivity, man. Mm -hmm. We got the answers from Yahweh Shem Yahushai through the Spirit, man. And through these scriptures that were written a poor time for our learning, man. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Yeah, yeah. Was that it? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and jump into um, Jeremiah uh, 7. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, it's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7. Start from the top at verse 1. It says, The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, saying, Stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word and say, Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all ye of Judah that enter in at these gates to worship the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Thus saith the Lord, the power of hosts, the power of Israel, amend your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Amen. So, yeah, man. You know, doesn't that amend go back into uh, repent, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, to make amends, to, to repair, to fix, to make right, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, to make changes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of necessary changes, kind of. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So forsaking the, the evil ways, you know? Mm -hmm. Like going back into um, Jeremiah 7 and 4, it says, Trust ye not in lying words, saying, The temple of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. For if ye truly amend your ways and your doings, if ye truly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if ye oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to your hurt, then will I cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. Okay. And we know that these, these things are still continuing to happen, man. And, and we're waiting on, on, you know, the Lord to uh, grant us that, that ability, starting with the elect, to dwell up in the land of our fathers, man, forever. Mm -hmm. God, God, the holy land, you know, that's what we're praying on, you know. That's what we're repenting for, you know, because our people, they oppress and afflict each other. Mm -hmm. You know, it would, you know, on top of being oppressed and, and afflicted, you know, okay. by Esau, even them so-called white man and all these other heathen nations, you know, that, that keep our people in a low state. God, there was just a, a little, uh, you know, like, he was like 12, 14 year old boy, man, who um, here in LA, he, Long Beach, he, he was uh, trying to buy or I believe he was buying a, a phone mm. and that he, you know, he met somebody selling the phone online or whatever. He ended up meeting this person who was an adult, I believe, and and uh, the kid went there for the, you know, the exchange, and he got shot and killed, man. But yeah, yeah man. man, you know, it's a Jake. But yeah, man, okay. you know, but, uh, you know, you got that's uh, you know that's it, man. So judgment, you know, ultimately. But yeah, like like Doc said, you know. Jake, Jake on Jake, you know, our people, you know, just like here on the streets, here in captivity, here in the, in the, in the prison houses, you know, things like that, where it's, uh, you know, everyone's got to go by their quote unquote race as far as, you know, getting as with the men, you know, be like, hey, you got to, you got to join up. You got to, you got to, you know what I mean? You got to do some work. You got to put in this work for, for your quote unquote race, not your biblical nationality, but your, and, and they put, they pin Jake up against Everything Jake's skin color. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So that's just, yeah. that's just the madness and the folly. That's you just know? Uh, Esau's system of oppression, man. Yeah. And yeah. our people are, are continuously buying into it, man. They don't want to hear this word, this truth. So going back into, and, you know, again, that's why we've, you know, that's why we need a savior. Ultimately, that's why we need, we haste on the day of the return. Oh, yeah, I'll you know, yeah, it says here, neither walk after other gods to your hurt. Mm -hmm. So, Jake, I infatuation with doing things that are are to their own demise, man. Mm -hmm. You know, things that, that, you know, to destroy ourselves, man. You know, mm -hmm. Jake, be playing with that fire, man, to where we're playing with fire, man, and, and you know, blowing ourselves up, man, and destruction. Mm -hmm. okay. And you know, Esau Vedum loves to see that man. That's why he be setting up all the snares and traps, man. He puts all the things for our own destruction uh, surrounding us, man. We're surrounded by all the wicked devices in order to destroy ourselves, man. So it takes 
the you know the Holy Spirit and the belief in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and, and learning the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to avoid those things, man. Okay. Yeah, you know, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter seven verse eight it says, "Behold, ye trust in lying words that cannot profit. Will ye steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal?" And walk after other gods whom ye know not. That's right, man. And all that's all you see out here, man. You see nothing but movies, music, um, celebrities, social media that promotes stealing, murdering, uh, adultery, man. You know, you got um, nothing but, uh, you know, they, they promote women to, you know, be dressed half naked out there, man. To be, um, you know, showing their bodies off to to other men besides their husbands to, um, you know, that really does uh, promote that adultery, man. Mm -hmm. You know, whether they want to uh, try it, whether they, uh, you know, admit to that or even understand it, that's the spell that Esau of Edom has put over the people, man. You know, but the the hopefully elect, you know, that they're not subject to those uh, enchantments, man. God. But yeah, bro, you see it with the music, the, the money, all these things, uh, you know, fame. It's all um, Esau's doings to uh, promote that wickedness, man. To have them uh, worshiping uh, idolatry, man. Walking after other gods, man. You know, everything is, a, is gods meaning powers, man. So a lot of people will give power to fame, um, you know, to money, to, you know, to, you know, pleasure, all types of things, man. You know, um, there, there was a show a while back that was called, uh, I think HBO had it, something, something about the gods, uh, Salaki, I can't even think of the name right now, but yeah, it was pretty much um, showing all these different gods that, that they created, man. And all of them were personified in, in people, but, but there were all these different things, you know, that that people worship, man. You know, media, um, all, all sorts of things, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, one way or another. Yeah, it's they go against the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahushah. But continuing on in Jeremiah 7 and 10, it says, And come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered to do all these abominations in this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers. Oh, so like, is this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes? It's called by my name. So he's talking about Israel specifically. Mm -hmm. That's, right. That's right. It says, behold, even I have seen it, saith the Lord, Yahweh Right? So the Lord knows all, sees all. Okay? He knows those who, who uh, swear falsely, you know, claim to be in the truth, claim to be men of the Lord, so on and so forth. The Lord knows your works. Oh. Uh, Jeremiah. Yeah, this is uh let me this is Matthew 21 and 13. And this is uh red letter, Yahweh speaking. Uh, you know, I'm gonna start at uh 21 and 12. Matthew 21 and 12 reads, and Yahweh went into the temple of of Yahweh, so, and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changes changers and the seats of them that sold doves, and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. All right, yeah, I'll shine my shock, man. Letting them, letting them have it, yeah. ripping, ripping them a new one, you know. Uh, he overthrew those tables, man. <laughs> yeah, and the yeah. money changers, those that were, you know, in there trying to, um, you know, trying to make money, um, you know, what is it, filthy lucre's sake, man. Mm -hmm. You know, all these uh, insincere uh, people, man. Mm -hmm. That aren't really there to to teach and to um, give worship to Yahweh or to Yahweh. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
So I say, yeah, it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. So he's referring to the prophets of old, uh, saying it is written. So he's saying that this thing has already been uh, prophesied and written about. And these things have been, they've been, a, a, you know, a sword to Israel, man, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of just that because of that house of prayer, you know, real quick, I'll back it up with that. Isaiah 56 and 7 says, even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar for mine house shall be called a house of prayer for all people, all people of Israel. Okay. So it's a house of prayer, not a house of merchandise. You know? So I'm going to go back into uh, Jeremiah 7 and lock you. Verse 12. Yeah, verse, yeah, yeah, verse 12. Yeah, I'm going to. Jeremiah 7 12. But go ye now unto my place, which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at the first and see what I did to it for the wickedness of my people, Israel. And then that's uh, Shiloh goes into a place of rest. Mm -hmm. That's right. So verse 13, and now because ye have done all these works, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, and I spake unto you, rising up early and speaking, but ye heard not, and I called you, but ye answered not, Therefore, will I do unto this house, which is called by my name, wherein ye trust, and unto the, pl the place which I gave to you and to your fathers, as I have done to Shiloh. And I will cast you out of my sight, as I have cast out all of your bread, all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Neither lift up a cry nor prayer for them. Dude, we're not even supposed to pray for them, man. Those that are being wicked and and you know willfully wicked against you. How about Shimei man? Mm -hmm. That's right. That yeah, same verse, Jeremiah seven and sixteen reads. To the the back end of that verse says, "Neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee." That's right, and. Just to uh, go into him uh, punishing, you know, and, and and forsaking the tabernacle of Shiloh. Um, this goes into Psalms, uh, Psalms, uh, what is it? Psalm seventy-eight? Oh, Salakia. Uh, this is Psalm seventy-eight, verse forty-eight. I'll start there. It reads, for they provoked him to anger with their high places and moved him to jealousy with their graven images. When Yahweh heard this, he was wroth and greatly abhorred Israel, so that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent in which he placed among men, and delivered his strength into captivity and his glory into the enemy's hand. Which verse is that? That's uh, 78. So yeah, man. So just like he's done now, man, he's given us into the hands of our enemy, Esau of Edom, for for turning away from Yahushua, for for committing iniquity, man, for transgressing against the Most High, you know, for going off and worshiping uh, these idols of, of the heathen. So, you know that that shows that we're still in this captivity to this day. For our transgressions, man, for our iniquities against the Most High. Kind of. Yeah, that's it. Huh? Oh, okay, kind of think that Roman New got you again. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, that was Psalm 78. Yeah. And that was verse 4 again? It's like, yeah, uh, that was verse starting at verse 58. Oh, 58. Oh, okay, okay, kind of. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's like it's my bad. It's like it. All right, come. 
All right, going back in the same, uh, Jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 16. No, you know, Salakia, this is uh, Jeremiah 7 and 17. It says, Seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. That's right. So worshiping Ishtar, Ananya, uh, Isis, you know, the Mesopotamian uh, uh, queen of, uh, you know, fertility, the, the queen of heaven that the scriptures talks about, man. Yeah. So it says, and to pour out drink offerings. False idol, man. And to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke me to anger. That's right. Verse 19 says, Do they provoke me to anger, saith the Lord? Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? That's right. That's why our people, you know, continuously. Are, are stuck, you know, spinning the wheels, as I say, or spinning in the mud, you know, and they're staying stuck in that lowest state, you know, they're not being built up spiritually because yeah, they continue in their folly. You know, this place is the land of confusion, B Babylon, Babal, confusion. Mm -hmm. That's right. But, and not only do they, uh, you know, keep themselves in lowest state, but they're continuously pissing off the Heavenly Father. And going back, right. so they, they worship and they do these things that they don't even know the history of or the background or why they do them. They just do them because they're told and everybody else is doing it. So they're just blindly following that. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is Jeremiah 7 and, and 20. So I, the scriptures say, study thyself to, um, to show thyself approved, you know? Because you have to be well studied, you have to be prudent, you have to uh, know, you know, where you're going, you know, you have to uh, know your steps, you know. Mm -hmm. You can't just walk this path and, and without knowing where where it leads to, man. That's right. As Jeremiah seven and twenty says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, the Most High. Lord Power says, Behold, my anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon man, and upon beast, and upon the trees of the field, and upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn and shall not be quenched. That's right. So anger is fury upon man and upon beast, trees of the field, and the fruit of the ground, man. And that's that comes heavy, man, with, with drought, with famine, with pestilence. You see these animals get hit with pestilence, man. You see, you know, you know, people are gonna be damn eating their pets and shit when there ain't no food out here, man. You know, when this great famine hits, uh, you know, you're gonna have, uh, you know, new, uh, you know, new animals on the menu that you never tried before, man. You're gonna be seeing these people out here doing shit like that, you know. Mm -hmm. We already see in these other third world countries, you know, the type of uh, animals they eat out there, man, that, you know, people here would consider pets. And, you know, they, they got your pet on the menu in certain countries out here, man. And that's the type of uh, energy that's going to be here in Babylon once these famines and, and all this stuff happens. You know, especially when, when, you know, there's no water. You know, California's already been in a drought for long time man but you're gonna see that continue across the whole um whole country man to where these uh pestilences and plagues man even uh trees and and fruits are susceptible to to disease man and to they're they're living organisms man they're you know they're, they can catch uh these type of sicknesses and and uh pestilences as well just like these uh birds and, and these other animals man that uh, you know, may come down with certain things, mad cow disease, you know, you got all these different things, you know, avian bird flu, you know, and that's all, that's all because uh, Esau, you know, he, he's a dirty mofo, man, he, he, he plays around with, uh, you know, a lot of these things to, uh, you know, to push his agenda, man. Mm -hmm. 
And this is Jeremiah 7 and 21. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shimi Shai of, of hosts, the power of Israel, put your burnt offerings unto your sacrifices and eat flesh. For I spake not unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your power, and ye shall be my people. And walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. Right? So it's well to walk in the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, well to take heed to this word, the very best of our ability. You know, we're walking on that straight narrow path. Fire on one side and deep water on the other. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 7, 24. But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ear, but walked in the counsels and in the imaginations of their evil heart and went backward and not forward. Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt unto this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them. That's right. So continuing on to this very day, all the elder apostles of Great Millstone on down and like-minded Akim who are continuously pushing this word, this truth, this gospel. Verse 26. Yet they hearkened not unto me, nor inclined their ear, but hardened their neck. They did worse than their fathers. So waxing worse and worse, colder and colder. You know, they continue to hear the warning. They see the prophets out there, yet they they seek not to repent. But ultimately, that's the will of the heavenly Father. So it says, um, the you know. There'll be a worse time that the earth's ever seen, that nation's ever seen, because of how wicked this place has become, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and that's why I said, uh, you know, otherwise no flesh shall be saved. And that's mm -hmm. how uh, depraved this place is, man, under Esau of Edom's rulership, man. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, he's just continuing to, you know, push uh, wickedness to a new level, man, and continuing to keep Jake in those enchantments. Okay. And Jeremiah 7 and 27. But yeah, the, the, he's going to select it. He's going to, he's judging uh, Israel now, man. He, you know, uh, Israel is first to be judged, man, because they've been giving the law, statutes, and commandments to abide by. He's made us separate, a uh, holy people unto himself. And therefore, he's going to judge us first. So that's why we're suffering under these curses, man. That's why you're seeing Jake dying out here, man. And that's why people wonder why these wicked uh, elites and, and these heathen are, are, you know, dealing with certain things like we are. And they don't understand that it's because our own people are there they're to be judged first, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Jeremiah 7 and 27 says, Therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them, but they will not hearken unto thee. Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. Now back that up. This is uh, the book of Jeremiah. Uh, Salakia, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2 and verse 7. It says, And thou, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to go into 6. Yeah, Ezekiel 2 and 6. Salakia. Actually, uh, Salakia, man, I got to go ahead a little further, man. This is, this is a little more meat on this bone. And I'll go start off with verse, verse 4. Ezekiel 2 and 4. It says, For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Power, Yehobah, Shimei, Hoshai, and they... And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dost dwell among scorpions. Be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, 
whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why the scriptures also say, I'll give you the power to trade over uh, serpents and scorpions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. because uh, he's given us the spirit to be able to, um, you know, defend the gospel, man, to be able to stand firmly and boldly for the, the gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, man. You know, and and to to bring this truth out with no fear, man. To you know, to tread over and, and you know, and to cut down these damn devils that come against the word, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is Jeremiah seven and twenty eight. But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai, their power, nor receiveth correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. They don't want to hear it. They can't be corrected. They can't be rebuked. You know, they're too proud. They're too mm-hmm. stubborn. So this is uh, 729, Jeremiah 729. Cut off thine hair, O Jerusalem, and cast it away, and take up a lamentation on high places, for the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, hath rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. That's right. So it's it's time of my end, making lamentation, you know. What is uh what does one of the scriptures say about uh you know uh pretty much um sitting in the dust and uh pretty much uh make make him bald. Yeah, oh I know that and, and also in the book of Job, you know, uh Job, you know, more or less, yeah, he he more or less made himself bald as a, as a you know a way of of uh, you know lamenting okay. to how Bashim how shy you know when when those uh, you know or even when things started even, to be falling kind of and even the end of uh, the vow of the Nazareth you have to, you know when you end that vow you shave off you cut all the hair off your body man mm-hmm. okay. <clears throat> yeah so this is lock yeah i can't find it and so uh, this is the book of jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 30 it says for the children of judah have done evil in my sight saith the lord they have set their abominations in the house which is called by my name to pollute it that's right that's right man so our people have defiled you know themselves all right and and uh even in those times defiling the temples so the most high they They've polluted this whole, uh, you know, of the Lord's people, man, mm-hmm. to where we we didn't even know who we were anymore, man. But the Lord has left that remnant to wake up and to uh, remember who we are, man. You know, to be raised from the dead. God. You know, Ezekiel thirty-seven. You know, raising up the the dry bones, man. Mm-hmm. You know, or even um, you know, uh, what is it? Revelations uh, eleven or nine. You know, talking about the, you know, talking about the dead bodies in the streets, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the body shall lie on the streets. After paraphrasing. Yeah. The place where our Lord was crucified. crucified. Okay. Yeah. Um, why don't you uh, go ahead and uh, get um, Ezekiel, uh, I mean, it's like yeah, Exodus 20. We start at verse 2. I'm going to look for Salaki. Exodus 20 and 2. I am the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Haushai, thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Ooh, the house of the house of bondage, meaning captivity, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is, uh, this is Revelations 11. I'm going to begin at verse uh, 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. So I believe um, the three days and a half goes into um, 350 years. And it says, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another 
because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. And after, so these other heathen nations are rejoicing that Jake didn't know who he was anymore, man. You know, the northern and southern kingdom, uh, you know, the, the sons of the Most High were, you know, they were put into captivity, man. Mm -hmm. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. That's right. So when they see uh, the Israelites, man, knowing who we are, that puts great fear back into these devils, man, who've spent hundreds and millions of dollars, man, spent all this time um, hiding this truth from us, man, telling us that we were just some damn um, rejects, lowly people, man. No, we, we are the children of the Most High, man. They, they, you know, try to beat that out of us and hide this truth of who we are, man, telling us that we're just nobody, man. But little do they know that, you know, to, you know, to their surprise, man, and great fear comes upon them when they, they know that we uh, we have woken up, man. We've been brought back to life through the spirit. And we're calling upon the true name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's right. You know, that, that name is dreadful among the heathen, the heathen man. Yeah. Why? Yeah, man. So, in that great city being uh, Babylon, man. That's that's what it's talking about. Babylon here in America, man. That great city, the virgin daughter of Babylon, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. So, Egypt being like the brothers just reading, the house of bondage, man. House of slavery. And America was. The place of slavery, this modern slavery that Jake's been in, man, that Israel's been in. Mm -hmm. That's right. And spiritually, Sodom as well because of the wickedness, man. That's right, man. That's what and, um, yeah, man. And so going back in this Jeremiah chapter 7, that's like, yeah, this is verse 31. Oh, you, know, you could, uh, yeah, we're Exodus 20 and 3 says, Thou shalt have no other powers before me, nor other gods before me. Exodus 20 and 4 says, uh, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Right? So our, our people are continuously idolizing you know graven images things as such you know even with the you know tattoos and things like that too you know yeah. making graven images unto themselves go and continue until verse six what we show is exodus 25 thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for i the lord yahweh shad thy power am a jealous god i'm a jealous power Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. That's right, man. So he's uh, practicing these heathen uh, pagan uh, holidays and such, man. You're you're uh, you're really stirring up the Lord's uh, his anger, man. You know he's a jealous power. You know he doesn't want you to serve any other gods, man. You know, I seen a, a video of that wicked demon Oprah talking about that 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 was a, a verse that that really put her off from so-called Christianity when she heard that 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 the Lord is a jealous God, a jealous power. And she's like, I thought that he was all love in this one. <laughs> yeah. You know. Well, he doesn't drinking, love yeah. wickedness. He doesn't love you going against, you know, everything that he's um, he stands for, man. That's right. Man. That's right. That's why that wicked demon, man. She going. She gonna get it. That's right. But yeah, man. He's uh, the visiting the iniquity of the fathers, the sin upon sin, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So then those that are backbiters, those that, you know, 
that hate the word of Yahweh that don't want to follow the ways of the Lord, he's going to visit you upon even your children into to the third and fourth generation, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. So wouldn't that be a fearful thing? Don't you love your children? Don't you want to protect your children? You're going to teach them the right way, man, to keep them from going off from that sin, from that iniquity. You know, you're not, you're going to pass on uh, trouble to your kids, man, by going off and not teaching them the right way. You're going to uh, lead them to the destruction, man. You just might uh, pass on your judgment onto your children, man. You should feel terrible about that. Passing upon your own, um, your debt and your bill, your, your judgment upon your kids, man, to have to pay that. That ain't right, man. That's why Jake needs to get his ass right, man, and repent while they have the chance. Yeah. Now you got people out there destroying their whole households. Okay. Uh, Exodus 20 and, four, and 6. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, it says, uh, and showing the other half of that coin, it says, uh, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. All right. So Heavenly Father is going to show mercy, man. You know, for them that love Heavenly Father by doing his commandments and keeping this word, you know, to the very best of our ability, you know, and by fearing the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that's where it all begins. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump over to um, Jeremiah 44. Yeah, we're, okay. we're good with that Jeremiah sign. Yeah, okay. why? I'm going to read uh, Jeremiah 44 and begin at the 23rd verse here. It reads, Because ye have burnt incense and because ye have sinned against the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh nor walked in his law, nor in his statutes, nor in his testimonies. Therefore, this evil is happened unto you as at this day. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. So our people are put under curses, you know, and they continue to go off against the Heavenly Father. So, you that's know, that's right, man. And that's all, uh, you know, we love to bring out that Deuteronomy 28, man. It tells you, you know, if, if you follow this, you know, you're going to have these uh, blessings. But if you don't obey the laws and statutes and, and the commandments and, and the word of the Lord, then these curses shall fall upon you. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then that's why, therefore, this evil has happened unto you as at this day. So that's why Israel is in the state that it's in, man. The people. That's right. It says, um, Moreover, Jeremiah said unto all the people and to all the women, Hear the word of the Lord, all Judah that are in the land of Egypt. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have both spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hand, saying, We will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, ye will surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows. So they made that covenant with the either, man, worshiping these uh, false idols, man. And that's the same thing that a lot of our, these two third people out of Israel do right now, man, where you try to uh, teach them about, you know, these certain holidays, these certain, uh, you know, laws that we we're trying to uh, follow, and it goes in one ear out the other, man. They choose not to do it, man. They don't want to repent, man. They they rather continue with that that covenant that they've made with the heathen, man. Following the ways of the heathen. Uh, and it says, uh, therefore, hear ye the word of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, said the Lord, Yahweh that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt, saying the Lord, Yahweh, 
live it. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. And that's why a lot of these, uh, you know, these people don't know the, the true name of the Lord, man. You know, they're worshiping these other, um, you know, this false idol, uh, uh, Jesus Christo, man. Or they're just calling out on God, which just means power, man. But they don't know the true name, you know. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the greatness of the Heavenly Father's name, okay, was not able to be slandered and, uh, you know, be able to be blasphemed. You know, in this, in, in the sense that uh, yeah, our people would swear falsely, you know, and vow, you know, and so on and so forth, you know, and uh, you know, falsely against the Hashem Shai. So that was the will of the Heavenly Father to to you know keep that respect on His name, you know, kind of by by hiding it from our people, you know, and, uh, and using Esau Abiyam to do so. Okay. So that's why it's it's a treasure, you know, it's a stronghold, as the scriptures say, you know. Yeah, man says behold i will watch over them for evil and not for good and all the men of judah that are in the land of egypt shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine until there be an end of them yet a small number that escaped the sword shall return out of the land of egypt into the land of judah and all the remnant of judah that are gone into the land of egypt to subjoin there shall know whose word shall stand, mine or theirs. That's right. So, shit, man. Dude, you gonna get, get right, man, and, you know, try to board this, uh, you know, you know, this uh, ship here, this uh, ark, man, you know? Mm -hmm. That's right, you know? man, the spiritual ark. The spiritual right. ark, or, or you're gonna, uh, you know, you're gonna meet your, your doom, you know? You're gonna get what you asked for, you know, because the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai will not tarry. He's gonna be the last one standing. You ain't gonna do nothing. What does the scripture say? You cannot do nothing against the truth, but for the, truth. For the truth. That's right. So, you know, your unbelief is not gonna change the truth, man. And what's this? Roughly paraphrasing, the scripture also say. Um, the earth shall pass away, or what I say, the uh, earth shall pass away, but my words shall, shall not pass away. Roughly paraphrasing, yeah, 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 come. yeah. So, yeah, see that you want to, you know, you gonna get with this, or you're gonna get rolled over, man. Mm -hmm. Either way, that's right. Either way, this train's gonna keep rolling, mm -hmm. you know, that's it. And it's uh, this is uh. Jeremiah 44 and 29 reads, And this shall be a sign unto you, said the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, that I will punish you in this place, that ye may know that my words shall surely stand against you for evil. That's right, That's right man. So he's punishing uh, Jake, man, in this captivity for doing evil in the sight of the Lord and having vain thoughts against the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. It right. says, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will give Pharaoh um, Hophra, it's a lucky if I'm mispronouncing that, Hophra, Hophra, king of Egypt, into the hand of his enemies and into the hand of them that seek his life, as I gave Ze Ze Zedekiah, king of Judah, into the hand of Never, never, never could, never could dresser, never could dresser, king of Babylon, his enemy that sought his life. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So, the Lord is is giving the certain enemies the power, you know, to come down on us, man, or to come down on them that are are, you know, in power over us, man. Mm -hmm. okay, that's right. So it's all to fulfill the will of the Most High. Mm -hmm. right. So our people are going to trust in their oppressors. They're going to trust in this modern day captivity. They're, not, they're going to trust in this uh, these false idols and you know, these Harley houses and so on and so forth. You know, they think that they're uh, you know JC. You know that so called Jesus Christo. You know, and think that that Jesus character is going to come down and save them. 
You know, they're gonna trust in freaking uh, Buddha, say, Allah, department whatever. For me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. You know, they're gonna trust in everything but Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, but this truth. You know, they're not gonna trust in the prophets who are out there speaking. You know, the mouthpieces of the heavenly Father, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh. All right, they're gonna trust in in vain things. You know? uh, uh, why don't you, uh, Bob can you get numbers? Uh, count twenty three and twenty three. Count. Let me get a. Uh, Pull up the book of Numbers, chapter 23, and verse 23, which reads, says, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. That's right. And that's speaking of the elect of Israel. There's no enchantment. There's not, none of this, uh, you know, deception. You know, what does it say that the elect would be deceived if it were so possible but it is not possible mm -hmm. so the elect of israel you know because not all israel is of israel so the elect are not you know there's no enchantment against them yet mm -hmm. kind of uh, enchantment also uh going into uh sorcery you know so yeah this you know no form of enchantment you know these whether it be uh film you know television music you know whatever yeah, it is even, on, some... even this witchcraft out there man kind of all different forms yep. of witchcraft yeah that's right and everything against that so you know what i mean or that these wicked devils are trying to push upon our people you know that's right but the point being yeah jake that elect you know that portion that remnant you know there's gonna that's the lord's inheritance that's the lord's portion as the scriptures say so no enchantment against jacob okay uh, neither is there any divination against israel according to this time it shall be said of jacob and of israel what hath the most high power rocked? And so, okay, real quick, I'm gonna go into that strong rot just for edification's sake. And uh, bring this out in the strongs. And, and this is the lexicon Hebrew for rot. Strong's age 64, 66. Pa'el, 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 so to do, to make, right, okay. Yeah, and just, uh, just makes me think about, you know, there's things that are called wrought iron, so to where you, you, you know, you heat this iron up and you mold it there, and it's called wrought iron, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, that's but, right, that's uh, right, yeah, so. That. So I'm going to reread that back into that verse, Numbers 23 and 23. It says, according to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what hath the most high rock? Right? So the Heavenly Father, man, the, the will, you know, things that, that are going to be manifested and ordained by the Heavenly Father, they're gonna, we're going to marvel at that. We're going we're gonna to be, you know, singing praises to the works of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, especially in the days to come. You know, the days to come where we're going to need that hedge of protection. You know, we're going to need that because of um, things that are going to come to pass. You know, the hour of temptation, these perilous times, you know, Jacob's trouble, things as such. You know, there's going to be uh, race wars and civil wars, FEMA camps, you know, famine, sword, the pestilence, you know, things that are going to befall the earth. And in particular here in Babylon the Great, you know, a.k.a. America, spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritually Egypt. And that was going to be uh, evil times. So we definitely have to, uh, you know, continue to to hold steadfast, you know, hold fast to what we have. You know, let no man take that crown, as the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. That's right. And we, we come into the understanding. We understand the will of the Most High, man. Mm -hmm. okay. so we're not going to be deceived, man, because we know... We know what, what the Lord is doing, man. We know how this kingdom is, is going to come. Yeah, why don't you uh, go ahead and jump over to that uh, Isaiah uh, 47, Bob Shah? Okay. Yeah, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 47. I'm going to start from the top of verse 1. It says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. So a virgin daughter of Babylon, okay, this place hasn't yet been touched by war, hasn't been uh, 
you know, hasn't been any major conflict aside from the quote unquote American Revolution. Yeah, you know, the Civil War, things like that, but it's never been, uh, you know, attacked by by foreign, uh, quote unquote, foreign armies, you know, things like that. And we know this devil exalts himself high as the eagle, man, and they, they're high minded, man. They're going to get chopped down to the ground, man. Mm-hmm. That's right. And, you know, dust, you know, you know, there's dust, uh, you know, comes with, uh, you know, it's often paired with destruction, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, daughter of the Chaldeans, man, is going into um, you know, going into um, you know, these Edomites, man. And uh, that dust also goes into uh, ashes, man. Okay. So sit in the ashes, man, because this place is gonna be burnt up. But the uh, Chaldeans are, are, you know. They go back into, um, you know, the Mesopotamia, you know, and stuff like that, you know. Mm-hmm. Kind of. So, yeah, you know, just real quick, Bob, I'm going to bring out the Strong's, uh, strong Lexicon Strong's for uh, the dust. Strong's H6083. Afar. 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 Okay. Which goes down into, like Doc said, you know, uh, ashes. You know, dust, powder, um, rubbish, debris. All right, so come down and sit in the ashes, man. Just, you know, come sit down the the debris, the ruins, you know? So Isaiah 47 and 1, same verse, says, There is no throne, O daughter of the the Chaldeans. Yeah, man, and these are these, these, um, you know, these modern uh, Edomites, man, that, that think that they're wise, man, you know? They think that they can uh, out, outdo the most high, man. They exalt themselves as the most high. That's right. It says, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. That's right. So, again, the, the daughter of, uh, you know, the daughter of Babylon, virgin daughter of Babylon, you know, it's no longer going to have that glamour, you know. It's no longer going to be held in the same regard, you know. It's going to be, you know, utterly destroyed. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, man, because this place is coming in the spirit uh, of you know, spirit of Egypt, spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah, spirit of ancient Babylon. Man. Mm-hmm. That's right, that's right. So delicate, also going into pampered or even uh, you know, exalted in a way, you know. So, again, putting that you know, held in high regard that way in that sense. Isaiah 47 and 2 says, Take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Ooh, that's right, man. How is shy is coming back as that angelic force, man, coming with them chariots with the holy angels, man, that army. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. That's right, and this place is being exposed. You know, these wicked devils are exposing themselves, yeah. and America you know, is being the, exposed. The prophets are exposing their man, taking the millstones and grinding meal. You know, that spiritual food, man, being this truth, out there feeding the flock, man. Mm-hmm. You know, that that millstone, you know, is what you grind, uh, you know, we grind the, the ancient, you know, uh, corn or whatever it was that you were uh, grinding, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. flour, whatever it was, you know? Mm-hmm. That's right. So continue to grind, man. Grind down. You know, continue to do the work, you know, speaking of that work, you know, and, and uncovering yeah, these devils. It's uncovering these devils, man. Making them Esau's being uh, made bare, man. His, uh, his, his uh, secrets are being revealed, man, and, and he's been exposed for the devil he is, man. Mm-hmm. That's right. No, this is uh, Isaiah 47 and 4. It says, As for our Redeemer, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai of hosts, of armies, is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. Chaldeans, Salaki. It says, But and it says, For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be knocked off her high horse, right? Some Babylon known as like. 
the mother of uh, harlots, you know, the great whore, mm -hmm. lady of kingdoms. Mm -hmm. That's why you see the damn Statue of Liberty out there, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and just as a personification of, of you know, that, that Babylon the whore riding upon the beast, man. It's like, yeah. And that's why she got the crown upon her head, man. Mm -hmm. Torch, yeah. So going into Isaiah 47 and 6, it says, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Right. So going back into, you know, then having no mercy. You know, that's also a saying, I believe, within the, uh, you know, the wicked elites, you know, saying, uh, you know, no mercy. You know what I mean? I'm roughly paraphrasing that. Oh, yeah. And what did the scripture say? Um, um, then have then no mercy. Then have no mercy. Have showed no mercy, shall receive no mercy. Kind of. Yeah. Roughly paraphrasing that. So, uh, yeah, definitely, man. And that's going to be that recompense, that righteous recompense, you know, because they laid that the yoke heavily upon our people. That's right, man. That's why we're not going to feel bad for these Edomites, man. We're not going to feel bad for these heathen, man, because of all the shit that they've done, man, to, to Israel. Mm -hmm. That's right. To Jake, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Isaiah 47 and 7. And thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Therefore, Hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. Right, so again, these proud, you know, Edomites, the so-called white men, and all these other wicked elites that are in bed together, you know, they're thinking that their, their ride's never going to end. They're just going to keep on keeping on you know they think that carousel rides never going to end that they're going to continue to That's exalt right. themselves as the most high try to be above the most high you know everything from uh you know this this That's conversion right. yeah just because they've been uh given the power you know by the most high to be the, the whipping stick to israel man they, they think that they that's their own power man they think that nobody else uh, can compete with them man they think that they have, uh, they are the most high, man. They think that they're going to continue on with whatever they want to do and that they're never going to be brought low, man. That's right. So the converting of this, uh, you know, the financial systems, gentrification, you know, famine, UBI, that then uh, Frito Lake chip, you know, things as such, you know, and they're just going to continue on, you know, continue, they, they, uh, yeah, they're just continuing to uh, grow fat. You know, off of the, uh, you know, as the scriptures go into, you know, they bellow as the heifer, you know, you're roughly paraphrasing that scripture. But uh, also in the book of Job, you know, speaking that they just when they're about to eat, you know, at their table, and the most high is going to pierce them, you know, yeah. he's going to thrust through. Yep. Okay, so going back into Isaiah 47 and verse, verse nine, nine, so like everything, go out about it. So Isaiah 4, 7 and 9 says, But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. That's right, man. So with this great uh, insurrection, man, Jacob's trouble, <clears throat> civil unrest, the third woe, you're going to see a lot of uh, these people, man. You know, you're going to have, uh, what does it say, that they, that the women are, are, you know, not even going to be able to, uh, you know, have husbands out there or, you know, they, that's why uh, seven women are going to be going to one man in that day because there is going to be, you know, no men out there because they're, they're all going to be taken out, man. There's going to be, uh, you know, only the, uh, the elect men are going to be able to um, make it through the said perils, man. Mm -hmm. God, that's right. So you're gonna have a, a lot of uh, these, uh, you know, these heathen and these uh, two thirds of them being sent to the war, man. You know, number to the sword. 
or number to some of these other uh, plagues that the Most High is going to be sending out here, man. That's right. So in a moment, man. So this is going to happen very uh, quickly, man. You know, very swiftly. Yes, yeah, like it. Uh, going back to Isaiah 47 and 10. This for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. That's right. That's right. So it had perverted thee. So it also goes into uh, cause thee to turn away. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. Mm -hmm. What does it say? Wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Verse 11 says, Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off. That's right. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. But the ones that, are, that know are the hopeful elect, man. Because they're prudent, man. They're, they're you know, they're, they're looking out, man. What does it say? Um, you know, to, to watch. So we got to watch, you know. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Just watch. So we're watching for the downfall of this wicked kingdom, man. And the, you know, the kingdom to come. So, you know, for something, you know, to, to be destroyed, we're, we're watching, man. And we're going to know what, what we know what it looks like, man. Because these things have been written for us, man. That's right. But these people that that don't take heed to the word, man, are not going to know where when to rise it. That's right. Isaiah, same verse, Isaiah 47 and 11. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, be thou just like it. If so, be thou shalt be able to profit. If so, be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Right? So thinking that, oh yeah, they can save themselves. Like, go ahead. You know, these sorceries, these enchantments, these different things that you trusted in. Like, yeah, go ahead and see if, they, if that's going to save you. See if that's going to bring you out of the destruction and that's the right. plagues and the judgments that are coming. That's right. You want to worship those things. You want to believe in all those and, you know, worship them. Mm -hmm. and let's go ahead and uh, see if those are going to provide you with the information you need to to save yourself, mm -hmm. to protect you from these things that I'm about to put on you. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Yeah, Isaiah 47, 14. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before. That's right. So these people are going to be utterly destroyed. These things that the Heavenly Father will you know, utterly destroy. Okay, that's going to be it. That's going to be the end all be all. And nobody is going to be able to uh, prevail at their own will, their own strength, you know, of their so own doing. doing. It's going to be how Bashim Yashai that gives that salvation to his elect. Okay. But yeah, that's right. And hey, Lord's cold, man. He is that, that's yeah, that personification there, man. It's like, Saying that the, his fire, man, that, that judgment, you know, him coming down with that destroying fire and tempest, man, you know, it's going to burn them all up, man, even those false idols, man. Mm -hmm. And they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame, being his judgment. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. So mm -hmm. there's going to be no comfort for you, man. Yeah, it's gonna be like like say it's cold world, man. It's a cold world. So yeah, that's the Lord saying that, man. There's gonna be nothing for you. You're not gonna be able to find comfort. Mm -hmm. you, you know, when it's cold out, you look for uh, cold to warm at. 
you look for a fire to sit by and and be warm you know to provide you warm when you're freezing out there man and the lord is saying you can have zero comfort mm -hmm. yeah that's right finish up here isaiah 47 and 15 thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored even thy merchants from thy youth they shall wander every one to his quarter none shall save thee mm -hmm. that's right so like, like, hey every man for himself you know what i'm saying like hey babylon uh, you, you know hey we waxed pretty rich we, we had a good thing going for a while but uh gotta go gotta go that's right you know that's right man hey through the spirit i think uh you know if you ain't got any uh anything else you want to add there i think we can close it with that. okay kind okay kind of, yeah no, no. good yeah, man. So we so, gotta, you know, spiritually flee from this place, Babylon. You know, by, by, you know, not being a, uh, you know, not being of this world. We're not of this world. We're we're in this world. You know, we we uh we use this world, but we're not. We don't abuse it, man. We're not. We don't have our treasures stored up in this place, man. We're, we're seeking the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yom Shai and the world to come, man. Mm -hmm. Kind of, that's right. We're just uh, you know, pray for your your you know your daily bread, you know, pray for some, some shelter, some raiment, you know. But the true shelter is under the you know, shadow of the wings of the most high, you know what I mean? Okay. And, and, uh, we have the true comforter being the, the gospel, man, being the word of Yahweh mm -hmm. and you know, our, our survival book, man, our, our faith, our hope, everything we have is in the hope of, of the word of Yahweh Shai. Right. And us seeking that salvation, man, and us, you know, repenting and praying that we're worthy of that. Okay. So, well, this is the word, this is the life, this is the water, this is the bread, this is everything we need. You know, the light of the world. Right here, bro. Mm -hmm. okay. so, this is the true raiment, big in this truth. So, so uh, I don't want to write yeah. this out. This was edifying, comforting, and exhorting to the hopeful elect of Israel. Okay. So, we'd yeah. like to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom, mm -hmm. to the hopefully elect tabernacle of David, those that believe and that are coming back into the faith, repenting into Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace be unto you in your households. That's right, Shalom. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, all like my Akim, pushing this word in truth and sincerity, Shalom. A bad the ball. A bad the ball. A bad the ball. GTA. Soon. Kwam Yashirala. Kwam Yashirala. Shalom. Yashirala. Shalom.